Nakuru is a nearly abandoned city in southern Japan where the residents left because of the decline in Japanese population. As there are some 30 to 20 people still living in the area, one of these residents had an idea to repopulate the area. However, instead of actually luring people back into the city, she just made new residents. Yes, this abandoned village is filled with realistic dolls which look just like real people. They are formed of the past residents, made up people and even James May. The school, houses and even the bus stops have been filled with these small dolls to make it look more alive. It's an inhabited horror village which has lured some people to the town. A giant doll city which you can live in if you want to. And you thought a single bloody waterfall was weird. Well, here we have a smoking, blood-soaked hillside. The smoking hills are a bunch of hills near the eastern coast of Cape Bathurst, near northern Canada. The area is filled with smoke and sulfur and is a tundra-like area. It looks like a cold version of hell, where smoke and red burning ground meets the white skies and the cold oceans. A place where hell has actually frozen over. The Einwak Eigech, I guess I don't speak Gaelic of any kind, is a Scottish ridge which is extremely dangerous and hard to escape once you actually enter the area. Even though the A82 goes near it, you probably shouldn't go nearer than that as it is a quite dangerous place to go up of, or down or just be around because it just is made to be known to go up of. Along with that, the nearby Devil's Staircase is even worse despite being the place you're supposed to walk up of. The Devil's Staircase is the best place to go, but even then, having the name Devil's Staircase is probably a hint. It was named by the soldiers who helped build the roads in the area, who just... who had a hard time working on around the area. And now, walkers and whatnot take the challenge of walking up these... riches. And they're totally fine, but they're slightly annoyed. The Kwashiao Shasha, which is about 9 different names all being the same, shit, was the very last Incan rope bridge which could be found in Peru. Despite being a thousand year old rope bridge, perhaps we don't really know, it's around the time, it held rather well, still being used up to the modern day. However, it is still a rope bridge which could be destroyed rather easily with some sharp modern tools, for example. And as it seems, it was the COVID pandemic which killed it somehow. Because of the lack of maintenance, the bridge collapsed a year into the pandemic. Which just shows how dangerous these bridges are. Less than a year of maintenance and the bridge became a death trap. If you had a walk over it in the late 2021, you could have fallen down to the long fall from these bundles of rope into the heavy, heavy water river and likely have killed you. So just remember that next time we go hiking in Peru. Isla da Quemada Granda, which roughly translates to Snake Island, is a dangerous island off the coast of Sao Paulo, Brazil. Just by looking at the name, then you do dare guess what there is on here. That's right, dangerous snakes. Apparently, the island came into being after the last ice age, where change in the environment made the peninsula into an island which also meant that the animals on the island just kind of had to deal with their new island lives. This was most successfully done by the venomous snakes on there, which made it their own island. This also means that the snakes on the islands have a diet of birds, as all other animals on the island has been killed by them. This also means there's no one allowed on the island except for the Brazilian Navy and researchers, both for the sake of the environment but also for the sake of the humans, because these snakes only kill. However, there is no science to the island telling you that it's one of the most dangerous islands on Earth. So, if you for some reason sailed onto this island, trying to enjoy the nice tropical area, then you aren't gonna last long, as the snakes have no mercy and kill as quickly as possible. I mean, you aren't gonna be there, but hey, it would kill you. It's only a pissing iceberg, so fucking deal with it. Like other entries on this list, 
It's not really that scary, but hella cool. It is an underwater waterfall, which can be found on the Meritrius Island east of Madagascar. There is no danger in it, however, the underwater ravine does make a cool looking underwater waterfall. So enjoy! Look upon the walls of the Ancient Ones. This weird wall sculpture can be found in the Australian town of Collector, where it is hard to miss once you get near it. It is supposed to be a memorial to the father of the creator, Tony Fantaste, yet it gives off a weird and perhaps even creepy vibe. Despite just being a homage to his dead father, along with some creepy details, and the local government actually wanted to disband the sculpture as they saw it as unsafe because it's a giant wall that could easily fall down and break a few necks. However, the sculpture today still stands and is good looking, I guess. I mean, I enjoy it, it's fine art. The Hoya Forest is a vast and dark forest in Transylvania, Romania. Even though I'm not a fan of simply writing forest equals scary, as that is simply not the case in most cases, as forests are relaxing as shit, then I will let this one slip as the Hoya Forest is filled with ghost stories, legends, and other tales of the paranormal phenomena. This forest is said to be filled with weird noises, unknown rattling, and of course, many happenings that can only be described as ghosts or cryptids. It is right next to a major city, so why don't you just go there and explore yourself, if you are so brave? Either you'll find the ghouling ghosts of the past dead, or you'll find a relaxing walk through a giant forest. So hey, win-win, right? The Overturn Bridge is a bridge from 1895 that leads to the Overturn House in Dunbarnshire in Scotland. Despite being an old timey bridge where it's become a popular walking spot, this place has a weird and dark backstory. Apparently, this bridge has been nicknamed Dark Suicide Bridge since the 1950s, when reports came in of dogs which were being walked by the owners just leaped off the bridge down into their depths for no apparent reason. Even today, we don't know why dogs would suddenly jump off to their death. First you thought it was a weird smell that made them jump, but all those theories were debunked. After that, a local teacher thought that ghosts and other negative energy coming from the overturned house made the dog jump off, as they were sensitive to that kind of stuff. And honestly, that is the most secure theory we have. To this day, dogs might still jump off the overturned bridge, and we don't know why. Pumpkin stars are weird and quirky phenomenons out in space. Apparently, when a star spins too fast, its shape becomes flat and resembles a pumpkin more than a ball. While our star takes about a month to complete rotation, then these stars take about a day to rotate, leading to gravity making this weird shape. But of course, like most things in space, despite being beautiful, they are also incredibly dangerous. Flares, star spots and more occur way more often around these stars than anywhere else. Along with that, they also have a special ring in the first billion years of its first spinning. Fun fact, beautiful, still dangerous. Welcome to Star Bit 2, or 3, I don't know, we're just back in space. The Great Attractor is an apparent phenomenon in the Lanikia Supercluster, aka the supercluster we inhabit currently. Or well, currently, we can't not inhabit it, which seems to hold everything together. Currently, we don't know what it might be, but whatever it is, it's so powerful that it can attract phenomenons millions of millions more massive than the Milky Way. We can currently only pick up simple hints, like how we know that it's currently moving towards the shapely supercluster, and other things. It seems to be a natural thing that each galaxy cluster has, you know, a large attractor, yet our attractor is still hidden, being on the other side of the Milky Way, which makes it hard to study. But hey, sometime in the future, we are bound to find it. Also, take note to the fact that I didn't call myself the Great Attractor, despite having a clear motives and perfect time to do so, ladies. Now, nah, but honestly, that might be a good pickup line if worked upon. 
they are blanched with Dane. Huh, that's never gonna happen. Currently, not going well. The Ghost Nebula is another space phenomenon, except it isn't really directly dangerous or anything in that direction. However, it is over two light years across and has the shape of a ghost. It's a reflection nebula which has the long cape like shape, which I have a hard time finding scary, but that might have to me. I mean, a giant ghost in space could be scary, but it's just a nebula made of gas. I think it, it's gas, right? No, it's help me out here. One of the longer debates about outer space if we are alone or not. However, when the topic of we are not alone comes up, then the question of how far away these intelligent creatures are follows suit rather quickly. So imagine if they were right next to us. Well, this place on Mars, which might have been studied by the Curiosity rover on Mars, shows what seems to be bones at the near red planet. Could this be proof of life right next to our planet? Has there been an ancient civilization on this planet? Or is it just rocks? It's just rocks, but imagine if there were actual bones, that would be amazing. Hart Island is an island east of the Bronx area of New York. Hart Island has a long history and has been used by English settlers ever since 1643 when the first Europeans arrived in the nearby area. It has been used as a living area, a boxing ground, training ground for the US colored troops during the war, civil war, a POW camp, and since that, a whole lot of burials, civilian deaths, military deaths, mass graves, and notable graves, and even a COVID-19 death grave in recent years. This mile-long island can be seen as an island of death as the ground should be littered with the buried bodies from the many different death causes. It's almost a time capsule, but with the tragic deaths of the many people of the continent. The Santario Duran is an abandoned hospital in Costa Rica, which is said to be one of the most haunted places on the island. It was owned by a politician and doctor from the area, who want to treat his daughter's tuberculosis. However, this operation did not amount to much, as the daughter was to die of the disease, as the medication and care just didn't help. Despite losing his daughter, the hospital still went on working. However, it didn't last long either before it got abandoned and closed down. And now it's said that all those who died in this hospital haunted to this very day, including the girl with tuberculosis. It is visitable, torn down, and a scary place for sure. Sandy Island is a weird kind of phenomenon near New Caledonia in Oceania. You see, Sandy Island or Ilisable is a very creatively named island made entirely out of sand. However, it is hard to find as we're supposed to be as shown on maps and described in letters. Well, there is simply nothing there. When sailing out to this area, there is nothing to find. When a group of Australians sail out to the island to study the tectonic plates in the area, they want to take a stop at Sandia Island. However, they found nothing. In fact, the seafloor didn't even rise that high, peaking at 1,300 meters below sea levels. This is quite confusing, since people have sailed to the island many times in the past, first being known in 1776, and even up to the late 1800s, it has been described. However, now an entire multi kilometer long island is simply gone. Did it sink in the ocean? Did rising sea levels make it disappear? What caused an island the size of this to just disappear? We simply don't know. Oh, that is not anyone's fetish. I'm not judging normal fetishes, but if you get turned on by dead baby animals, then you should be jailed for necrophilia, pedophilia, and bestiality. Anyways, the name is kind of misleading as the word fetish has a different meaning here. It is a, basically a word for material which is connected to voodoo, which is actually what it is. The largest voodoo market on earth. Here, you can find such beauties as dead animal skulls, voodoo dolls and prepared animals. If you want to both visit the African occult, the dead 
and a lot of dangerous animals, then this is the place for you. The Occult Center of Africa. Crossing a bridge is one of the easiest things in the world. Just drive forward and all is good. The hardest thing really about driving over a bridge is the urge to drive off of it, which you for some reason have. Rain? The fuck are you trying to tell me here? Anyways, this water bridge is indeed the hardest to cross. But it's a bridge, what could it be? It can be found in the Northern Territory in Australia and is flooded most of the time, meaning that it's a fight between man and nature. And mostly, nature wins. Hard. Not only is it a heavy river which is gonna drag you down into the water, ruining your car forever, but there's also crocodiles gonna eat you alive and a lot of other things which will just ruin your day. Now that begs the question, why didn't they just make a tiny bridge? I mean, even wood would do something, but they didn't even do that. Krako is a ghost town in the very south of Italy, which used to be rich with history, culture and identity, but was abandoned in the 1960s because of a landslide. You see, Krako is a city on a steep hill, making a beautiful view, yet a dangerous lying area. As the hill began to slip and a full-on landslide happened, and the town has turned into a ghost town, as no one could live there anymore because of damaged water pipes and missing important parts of the city. And now, it's an entire city in ruins, which can be explored. Here you can find history all the way back to Roman times. Despite being a city of the past, the Krakow Society has been formed by former residents of the city, which preserves its legacy. However, you can still wander around it, seeing all the ghosts that might be in there, or haunting fears, or even the fact that if you're in there, you might be a witness to the next landslide, which might just kill you. Ah, cave diving. Combining two very dangerous and fearful activities into one. How lovely. Cave Divers is just what it says. A website where you can explore the scary and dangerous hobby of cave diving. Getting stuck with no way out, getting lost in a foreign set of caverns, losing oxygen and drowning underwater? Yes please. And here, you can almost feel the anxiety swelling up inside of you. Joyous joy. Despite being a very dangerous thing to do with all professionals being allowed, then it's a very beautiful thing to do because there is so much beauty underneath the water and the caves. Whitnam was an Australian company town in the northwestern outback. It was built as a mining town where blue asbestos was being mined in the area, which went smoothly for most of the time the town was operational. However, as time went on and the asbestos mine began to become empty, and the town too became slowly abandoned, as the entire purpose of the town, that of mining blue asbestos, became futile. Now, Whitnam is nothing more than a ghost town of two houses, which one can explore. There is not much to see, but hey, there is perhaps the past you can find here. And an empty mine, oh boy. Ship graveyards are, as the name pretty much spoils, open graveyards where ships lie to rot as they are no longer useful. This can range from a few yarlies in a lake to a giant upstream graveyard of military tech navy ships, like this one in Brest. These ship graveyards are both a great place to gather scrap parts, but also a place of many tales. The many voyages, the many stories, the many adventures, now over and simply rotting up in these forgotten lakes and rivers. Visiting one of these abandoned ships can be both impressive it's also scary, and intimidates. It's a giant ship left to rot. Anything could be in there or on there, and it's free to visit. I mean, you can just go to Brest and see a navy, a, a, a cruiser, right? The murders of Abigail Williams and Liberty German is a tale of two kids who went missing and were later found dead, stabbed to death in the Delphi Trails in Indiana. The most scary thing about these murders is that we know so little of it. No one was ever arrested and only one suspect was identified, but he was never found. 
He could be found on the Instagram of the two girls who were filming that trip through the trail, and through that, might have accidentally recorded their murder. But again, we don't really know, and it's only a theory. So why is this on the Scary Places iceberg chart? Well, you can still visit the trails where these two girls were sadly killed, as it is an open trail. It might be a place of great nature, but it could also be your last resting place, as the murderer is very much still on free foot, and the only place we know where I've been is right here. Bachelor's Groove Cemetery is the type of cemetery you would expect to be in this part of the list. It's an old and run-down cemetery that is filled with abandoned nature and half-destroyed tombs. It can be found in the south of Chicago and has been around for almost 200 years. Being this old and creepy in nature, it is no surprise that most people associate this place with hauntings and ghost stories, which has made the area famous. Dead dogs, grieving widows, dead farmers, this place is filled with the dead in more than one way. It seems to be a kind of epicenter of haunting events and other scary scenarios. So why not visit and see what happens around the dead? Despite being the literal emptiness of space, then galaxies are places where a lot of activity happen. Stars are almost always created and made along with planets spinning around and nebulas floating around it. With all these things going around, it seems like these things are almost unkillable as there is always some kind of activity going on in a galaxy or a galaxy cluster or just some place with activity in the universe. However, as the Hubble telescope has shown us, that is actually not the case. In fact, it seems to be quite common that galaxies die, as we have found already six dead galaxies. These are giant spaceworks where there is simply not enough cold oxygen gas to make new stars, and therefore, no new activity. It is therefore an entire galaxy where no more so-called life will happen. It is simply a giant vast space of planets and stars waiting to die out and become nothing once again. When time comes, these dead galaxies will be filled with dead stars as they simply rot up into nothingness once again. Oh, Space Marathon 3, I think I've lost count. Korot 7b is an exoplanet some 489 light years away from Earth, in the Korot 7 system. Here, this Earth-like planet can be found, and despite having some apparent characteristics of Earth, and being about 4 times its size, it is also extremely close to its Sun. In fact, it revolves around the Sun at a speed of 20 hours and 29 minutes, because it's simply that close. That's an entire year on this planet, not even a day long. That also means that despite being a planet made of rocks, like Earth, it might be mainly made out of lava, as an entire magma planet. A huge planet just made of magma and lava. That is some final boss stage kind of shit. God, I fucking suck at science. So a quark star is an apparent hypothetical star that might or might not be able to exist, with apparent free quarks made from quark matter made from nuclear particles. Do I know what I just said or if it made sense? No, not at all. This is a hypothetical in a field I know shit about. These are apparently also called strange stars, which are neutron stars, but stranger. Look, I'm, I'm a history guy, not a space scientist guy. If you took an old scientist geezer into a lab and said to him, hey, how about you not only question the reign of Saragon of Akkad, but also some hypothetical rulers in the area, he would melt. Which is exactly what I do when you put me in front of a video editing software and say, hey, explain the forming of neutron stars and the hypothetical form of quark stars. I don't even know what the fuck quarks are. I'm doing the best I can, but this is sh this shit is A-level science, and I don't even know C-level science here. But yeah, it, it, it stars that we don't know much about. Perhaps it would kill us all, perhaps it would last 10 times longer than normal stars, perhaps they make fucking ice cream. I know jack shit about this, alright? It's, it's quark stars, goodbye. 
The Screaming Tunnel is a tunnel in Ontario, Canada that goes under a rail track. Despite just being a small walk path that goes under a hill, it has a rather creepy legend to it. It is said that in this tunnel, a young girl was attacked and raped by an unknown man who did to her as he pleased. Since the tunnel is in the middle of nowhere, and the nearest help was too far away as she couldn't do anything. As he finished, he realized that the girl was going to get some kind of authority involved. So, he burned her inside the tunnel and left her to die a painful death alone. It is said that as she burned up, her loud screams filled the tunnels and they still echo in there to this very day. There's apparently also been rumors of screaming being heard in this area. And with this place being a mostly empty wooded area, it would make someone scared. A hundred percent. The Hauschka Castle is a castle in the Czech Republic that is well decorated and filled with gothic wonders. Many paintings of the era, beautiful building designs and even a knight's drawing room makes this place a gothic masterpiece. But of course, it also has a darker side to it. It is said that this building is built upon the entry to hell, specifically the chapel of the castle, where demons are said to have been able to slip out, but are now sealed by the power of Christ or something. Despite Jesus doing his best, some demons have apparently slipped out as multiple deformed demons have been seen around the area, like a headless horse, a human bullfrog hybrid and an older woman. Yes, just that. Grandma's a demon. Along with the might of Christian mythology being a play, the Nazi Wehrmacht has also been at the works in Hoshka Castle. It is said that the Nazis made several pagan and occultist rituals in this area to try and reawake the powers of hell to try and win the war. Somehow. The Gomantong Caves in the eastern parts of Malaysia are a long series of caves known for their harvesting of bird nests. They harvest white and black bird nests for bird nest soup, which is apparently a delicacy somehow. Mmm, bird spit and feathers, delicious. But you know what's even more delicious? These caves, oh my god. As a starter, you'll see what's called Gume, which is basically a fancy word for bat shit, as two million bats live in this cave and shit in it every single day. Along with that, insects are a staple down here, with cockroaches being number one. One or two might not scare you, but a thousand probably will. You will constantly hear crunching under your boot because you can only step on the amount of cockroaches down here. And that's only cockroaches. There are many other insects down here, either bigger, smaller, uglier, prettier, it doesn't matter, there's a whole legacy of families down here. And finally, there are again caves. They're dangerous and you could easily fall down a hole or something or get stuck. So imagine that, getting stuck down here in the cockroach filled caverns with your only food being bird nests. Now that is Malaysia for you. Vallone de Molini is a historic valley in Italy that it used to be populated by a bunch of people, but is now just ghost town, in a town, fun thing. There used to be flour mills, wood mills and other buildings down in this valley, but now it's been left alone since about the second world war, if I remember correctly. Basically, business was booming in the olden days. But then, modernization came and the city it was placed in just didn't need a flour mill right there. And all of a sudden, the entire valley became a ghost town. Which you can now see in Italy. Just look at that green mess. Beautiful. The rigid structure is a weird and apparently natural phenomenon that can be found in Martinia near the Adrada Plateau. While being a near empty desert, with not much but sand and rocks, then this giant circle is a rather strange thing. It's a large dot in a desert with circles inside of it, which are several kilometers long. The scariest thing about this large sculpture is the thought of what might have made it. Some theories have been put forward, like volcanoes and meteors, but again, 
We don't have anything else in that. It's, it's almost just that. It's a huge mystery for a huge plot of land, which is just kind of here. So, enjoy. The Al Jazeera Al Hamra is an abandoned village in the Emirates, which is still fully intact. It has multiple buildings, a mosque, roads, and all you could wish for, now without people. Local legends say that it's now haunted by those who used to live there. Despite the fact that it's still alive, but you know, hauntings, it's always fun. It's the perfect place for creating an abandoned Arab town, as it's been used for that exact thing by Michael Bay in the film Six Underground. But why did it get abandoned? Why go away from a fine city in the 1960s? Well, apparently the inhabitants got an offer from the Sheikh Said bin Sultan Al Nainan to move from the city to Abu Dhabi. Which they then did and completely just abandoned their town that lived in for ages and grew up in. Just like that, they left their entire city behind. And now, it's just sitting there in the desert, all alone. Still intact, with nothing there. Okay, that just looks evil, just straight up. Anyways, the HR 4796 is a binary star system some 235 light years away. And when I say binary, it's because it got two stars in the same solar system. It's crazy, it's like Tatooine. As you can see in this image, it has a kind of ring around it, which isn't a Saturn ring, but a ring of debris, which is most likely there because it's a rather young star system only being some 8 million years old, which is rather young for a solar system. The dark and yellow center with the red surrounding has meant that the solar system has also been dubbed the Eye of Sauron, which is both cool and disturbing to have in our very own galaxy. It's out there, the Eye of Sauron, it's real. And in space with two stars, it's, 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 it's crazy. PSR B150958 is a terrible name, but also a pulsar, like those talked about before, which is some 17,000 light years away. Despite being a long distance away from us, it's only some 1,700 years old, and it's a simple neutron star in a giant nebula that spans some 150 light years in size. And how is this scary? Well, it's been dubbed the Hand of God because it is well on its way to creating incredible structures. Along with that, those structures is something that apparently is shaped like a human hand, which is taken form far away in the galaxy. The neutron star is so well at work that it's spinning around itself 7 times a second. An entire neutron star spinning around at that speed is incredible. It is an uncontrollable force which is likely far away from us, but it's still creating massive structures and is creating a human hand. It's weird how it just got that shape. The Shanae Timbishka is indeed one of the only self-boiling rivers in the world. Yes, this river in this part of the Amazon just kind of boiled it itself. It is placed in Brazil and is highly praised by the Asinica locals. But despite that, local deforestation threatens the future of the boiling river, as the lack of trees might lead to its boiling end. Weirdly enough, the locals, which love it so much and have even involved it in their mythology, are indeed also the ones who are doing 90% of the damage of deforestation to the river. And perhaps that it's the truly scary part of this whole scenario. You've heard of cries from above, now get ready for cries of the abyss. This series of statues, which can be found in Italy, Granada and the US, are large statues of Jesus Christ that has been submerged underwater and is kind of hang out down there. It is more of a piece of art than anything scary, and of course, if you didn't know that these were a series of statues, then you might be scared that there was not only a man underwater, seemingly screaming for help, but also the fact that he was giant and, you know, Jesus. But you do know that, you do know the whole shtick around this, so it isn't really that scary to be honest. The Mounsel Forts are a series of offshore forts in the southeastern parts of the UK, which were built in 1942. They were meant to help Britain protect itself against the German bomber attacks and did their duty for king and country greatly. 
Unfortunately, they were only really used for those three years at max, so after the war ended, they became abandoned and useless. After that, they became scary grey figures of the disease, which simply just stood there, menacingly. Today, they are mere ghost buildings with no real use, along with that, they are far enough away that the government can't really do much about them because of the sea laws and whatnot, I guess. That also means that most people have hijacked these sea forts and have made them into their own little things and hobbies. One of these is Screaming Lord Such, who made his own radio network in one of these towers, which went well until just didn't care anymore and just sold it off. And along with that, His Royal Highness Prince Paddy Roy Bates took over one of these towers and made his own non-recognized country called Sealand, which is only sea and not land which still functions as a country to this day, with a royal bloodline, an anthem, and even a football team. PSO J3185-22, uh, just boring names, is a planet discovered by the Pan Stars team on Hawaii, which is one of their apparent greatest finds. This planet is pretty ordinary in its being, being a brown dwarf planet with a mass some six and a half times the size of Earth. However, this planet is extraordinary in one special way, in that it's a rogue planet. Yes, this planet is without a mother star or even a solar system. It's simply a huge planet that is just kind of floating around in space, doing its own little thing, just kind of going around. Something like this is not only a rare find, but an interesting one as well. Imagine an entire planet just being alone in space. No stars, no Brother planets, no sun, just empty darkness forever, and a night sky that lasts forever. Mount Kalish is a sacred mountain in the Himalayas in Tibet, which are sacred in four religions. On its own, it is nothing to get amazed by. Of course, it's a giant mountain, but there are so many of those in the Himalayas. I mean, it's the entire place. Mountains. It is here that some of the many important rivers start from, like the Indus and Sutli, but that might also be the greatest physical feature it has. However, it is filled with status and other kind of religious aspects. Along with that, it is said that the holy family of Shiva can be found in this mountain. The trail on this mountain is a religious walkthrough as you see so many symbols of so many different religions, just kind of hanging out there. The Great Underground Wall of China can be seen as a modern version of the Wall of China. While the old wall was meant to keep the nomads out, then this is meant to keep the future invasions out. As this underground wall, which is just tunnels, not walls, holds a long and vast system of intercontinental ballistic missiles, which can be transported around parts of China, both onto platforms where they will be fired out from, but also into reinforced bunkers which are meant to protect ICBMs until the first wave of missiles are over, where after the second one shall begin. Of course, we don't know much about these tunnels, which are fair, but they are said to be ridiculously long and dark. Along with that, it might be the last place where movement takes place in China if all goes a bit too hard in the future. Prison is often not the best place to be in the world, and this Slovak prison is no exception. The Leopoldov prison might be a Slovak state prison now, but has a long international history to it. It began as an Ottoman fort, which later became a prison under the Kingdom of Hungary, and continued like that all the way up into the developed revolution and the fall of communism in Czechoslovakia. During the Czechoslovakian times, it became a top tier prison where all the words of the country could be found, including capitalists. Not only was the place tough, but the guards and wards were tougher, as brutality towards the inmates wasn't too unnormal. Along with that, major prison revolts swept across the prison, especially in 1989 after the developed revolution where a week-long revolts happened, with bloody clashes between the prisoners and guards. And now, in the modern era, it is still in use, however now it is less brutal, or as what the warden says at least. 
It's a common joke that China likes to copy what the West have made, just cheaper. Well, I'll introduce you to Paris 2 CCP Edition, aka Paris, if you will. It's a place that has copied the French architectural style, the landscape outlays, and even the Eiffel Tower. Despite that, it actually started out as a ghost town, as a mere 2,000 people lived in a second Paris, leading to a weird lifestyle. However, that is now over with some 30,000 residents, which fits the Paris clone a bit more. It isn't really that scary, but just extremely weird. Perhaps a ghost era town was weird. A ghost town Paris. That is Chinese. You don't get weirder than that, do you? The Demon City, aka Mugi Cheng, is a natural sand rock structure out in the wilds of the Gobi Desert. It seems to just kind of appear in the vast desert, but from afar, it's far from just a few rocks. It apparently looks like a giant fort or castle. However, when you get closer, the illusion might fade out, but then another one seems to appear as now the winds blowing through these giant rocks sounds like the screaming of a demon in pain, leading to the name. Since it's a desert, then there aren't that many people who live around this structure, leading to many people walking through the desert and being scared away by this giant fort that screams of pain. The ARS 0543725050 is not only a secure password, but is also one of the more confusing riddles in space. While this might just look like another nebula having the rough outline of a mountain, the more mysterious thing can be found at the top at the V shape. For some reason, the top of this nebula is shining. But, but how? Apparently, there shouldn't be any kind of light source in the area to make it kind of light up. So why is it doing that? It simply does, and therefore it shouldn't be able to light up. This is another one of space's vast mysteries, which we can only look at and ponder. The Tribek Mountains, along with the so-called Slovakian Bermuda Triangle, is a rather mysteriously dangerous place in Slovakia. This place might just be a forested mountainous area with some ruins of the former residence, but inside the triangle of the three Slovakian cities, mysterious things seem to happen. People have disappeared inside the circle for many years, never to be found again. The many people who settle in the area for some reason also just leave again, and voices are said to be heard atop the mountains. Whatever is causing these weird phenomenons is simply unknown. We simply don't know what is making this place one of the most dangerous and scary places in the world. It's a mystery that will follow us to our graves, so goodbye.